Hi everyone, it's Carol from Crinkled Path Journals, and sadly, the Secret Santa Style Christmas in July Wop 2023 has come to an end. It was really a fabulous, fun swap. I love how much I got to see of other creators' talents and how they stretch themselves to meet the challenge to do something specific for their Secret Santa recipient. <music> goodness when I had the idea to do the swap but add a secret Santa component I really had to find hosts that were willing to come alongside me support and host a few of the participants so that I could participate as well so thank you again to Angela and Pam for very quick and resounding yes we're in we're gonna help when I contacted you it means the world to me that you were enthusiastic about jumping in. And to all of our participants, thank you, thank you. You did amazing. And to those of you inquiring already about next year, yes, that's the plan. We are not promised any days, but I have a feeling the way this has been so blessed this year, we will be back next year. So put on your calendar this date. May 20, 2024, and visit my channel. It'll take a herd of something to keep me away from posting a video on that day to announce an open call for next year. Again, I can't express enough how grateful my heart is for everyone who participated. And for those of you not in the U.S., if you're from a different country and you would love to host in your country, I have a potential person already in line for Canada for next year, but if you're in another country and you're part of a junk journaling community via YouTube or in person and you want to see your country get added to the swap and you're willing to host and use your address for returns, I'd be more than happy to expand. <laughs> I think it's already going to expand within the U.S. And Carrie the Paper Monkey was saying how much it impacted her to hear all the different states that participated in this challenge this year. And it is. It's truly amazing how small the world is in the YouTube community. As a farewell to the swap this year, I wanted to do a flip through of the journal that I made my Secret Santa recipient, which was Dale. And I love that she called me her Secret Santa sister. <laughs> that was so cute. I mostly wanted to flip through because I wanted to give a nod of appreciation to so many people who have given me happy mail over the years and I tried to work pieces in from different people's happy mail into this journal because supporting community and growing community was such an important part of doing this swap so I wanted to make sure that I made mention of those that are in here and I'm sorry if I missed somebody's happy mail that you sent me. First of all this is a telltale book it is from 1969. It's as old as I am. <laughs> and it's about six inches tall by five and a quarter inches wide. And I have three signatures in here. And they're bound in. Added a couple little buttons to the spine. And then the closure here is just a simple button on elastic loop. It can be removed either by undoing it or just sliding it off. Our big chunky tassel. I, I thought it was fun to have this measuring tape. One, because Dale loves sewing ephemera, and two, because it's kind of a countdown to Christmas, is what it looks like to me. And then I have this old tinsel, vintage fat ribbon, this little old gingerbread man ornament. Lots of ribbons and twine. And then I have this acrylic shaker block that I got from Brittany Linger Blinger Creations. 
This has the traditional Christmas colors of red and green, but it also has pink and orange and turquoise. And I just thought it was very eclectic colors. And I loved for summer that it was so bright and cheery. This first page, I have some cutouts from a Cook's Magazine, a Fussy Cut Santa, some lace, and this pocket made out of cardstock with lots of little goodies in it. This came from Brittany. I recently got some scrapbooking paper, and I'm now it's slipping my mind who I got it from. These are just a couple Play Money tags that I liked how the colors went with these candies. They could be journaled on the back because they have a nice clear back, not a dark color. We have a belly band with this, whoops, come down this way with this Project Life card that I added some more candies from the Cook's Magazines and this gingerbread frosted heart cookie that could be used as a journaling card. There's a gift tag that's blocked and then these are little gingerbread men that I glued the buttons on and the little pieces of Rick Rack and drew on their smiles and eyes. Oh, and while I'm thinking about that, I put Rick Rack on the cover too to give it a little textural feel, and I think that's so fun. Some gold stars, and this paper came from Angela. She did this hand dye, and it was a extra Happy Mail gift in with something I ordered from one of her live sales. So thank you, Angela. We have the cover of the book and I went ahead and wrote in the date here because it's Roman numerals and there's more of candy from our Cook's Magazine. I have the original story of the book in order in the book and I love the illustrations in this book. I have a personal copy of this in my collection, so I was very thrilled to find another copy so I could use it for the journal. We have a couple cut-aparts from a paper pack. This little fabric ruffle is from Maggot Chasing Retro. I have a hidden paper clip tag here that that little bird is on. And it's helping hold this flashcard that I just got from Carrie, the paper monkey, in her Happy Mail. Some gingerbread houses and some lace. Another Project Life card with lots of goodies in here. I have some of the wrapping cardboard wrapping from the tinsel another of the play money i have several of these recipe cards with the gingerbread man on it throughout the book this project life card that says moments and the order slip from the cooks illustrated where i cut the candy pictures out And I just kind of layered them because these colors are in the leaves here. This is a little scripture card from Meg at Chasing Retro. In the middle of the signatures, I put circles on the ends of the strings. The scripture card is double-sided, so I was very careful not to cut it off on the back after gluing. Here's another tuck spot with some more goodies in it. I have another one of the recipe cards. 
I have a pocket that I made out of some foam that Brittany had sent me and this recipe was from my secret Santa who at the time of this filming I don't know who that is yet a couple more of the play money from the game and this journaling card which also came from my secret Santa I have a little cluster down here with a vintage 1975 Christmas stamp, some buttons and ribbon just to make a cluster. I made all the ribbon tabs. I have a piece of cross stitch of mine that I put in this frame to make a journaling card. There's room to write on the back. more bling and another look at Angela's dyed paper. I folded this Project Life card in half and cut out a gingerbread man from a children's book, added a couple of little tickets in the tuck, and there's journaling space in there. My only fret about this is, in fact, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna paper clip it because it keeps wanting to slide down into the valley here and then it gets bunched up with the next signature so it's clipped for that reason this is from an ideals magazine that candace from candy cane creates sent me and i used the paper cut it into four pieces and glued them back to back to make these pockets and then he's a little vintage gift tag vintage or I should say retro, because he's from about the 90s. He's just peeking out of there. More of the original book page. Some more of the Cook's Illustrated candies. I put more of those little candies that I cut out in this pocket. There's Cut Rock candy, Whorehound candy, Cinnamon Imperials, honey candy, tea candy, and then another Project Life card to journal on. This gingerbread house came from an old Trader Joe's bag. <laughs> and so did the journaling cards that I made. Just added a little lace tab. I did some of my paper clips sideways and then made ribbon tabs sticking up. Another one of our recipe cards. More of the book page. More of Angela's cute paper. This sticker came from Carrie the Paper Monkey in Happy Mail. Another Project Life card with Cook's Illustrated Candy. A cut apart from a scrapbooking pack and some of the orange money. I love this page. It reminds me of something strawberry shortcake. <laughs> the cute little polka dotted pony eating apples. More paper from Brittany. More paper from Angela. <laughs> This is from a golden book, The Night Before Christmas. I have this copy here that's kind of in rough shape that I was cutting out of. Another one of the grocery bag tags in the back side of that gingerbread house. Another Project Life card tucked into this pocket. And this little bag, so fun with all the bright colors. Here's the back half of that page from Candace, and this is stuffed with all kinds of little things as well. I have another cut apart from scrapbooking paper. Make sure I got everything out of there, yeah. 
another piece of the packaging that I glued on to make a pocket with this old Santa tag and this is also a Santa tag. More of the ideals paper, scrapbook paper with lace. This is just a Christmas card from the early 2000s that I cut the back half off of and glued it on as a flip. There's another cut apart and another recipe card. More of Angela's paper, another ribbon tab. This magnet came from Carrie the Paper Monkey. I thought the Anchor of Hope. It's a sweet verse, and I love the verse, but I it had to go on the page where he is being silly, running away on the back of a fox, which who has convinced him to go out into the water. Then I have a milk cap. And then some more scrapbooking paper with lots of little ephemera pieces in here. These pieces reminded me of cookies. And then we have some graduated hearts and a couple different Christmas trees in there. She could use to embellish more on one of the pages if she wanted. Some more polka dots on the ends of this last signature. I have this beautiful embossed paper from Tammy at Texas Sweet Tea Treasures. And then another Ideals paper with the nativity. These are Mary and the shepherds around baby Jesus with this beautiful poem going down the side. And then inside on the back is also some Christmas traditions where they came from. More of Angela's paper. This is a vintage 1960s recipe card for gingerbread men. And I loved that it matches the farmer's hat. <laughs> I know it doesn't have to be matching, but oh, it sure feels good when it comes together like that. Another one of our punch outs that reminds me of the cookies. More of Angela's paper. This came from Tammy at Texas Sweet Tea Treasures. She added stickles to make her so adorable. I just, I, I had a really hard time letting her go, but she very much needed to be at home in the gingerbread house book. And I know Dale will be so thrilled to host her. I have a little card tucked in here, and this was my reveal. I'm curious to see how long it's going to take her to find it, <laughs> because I, I'm, it is tucked towards the back of the book, and it wasn't meant to be a frustration to hide it. It's just where it belongs. Okay, another one of my cross stitches that I made into a journaling tag. A rickrack topper. Dale loves her rickrack. And then this last page just has my embossed maker's mark on this tag. And I don't know, this was a really thick tag, so it didn't punch quite as vividly as it usually does. And I've thought about Maybe trying to go over it with something white, but I'm afraid to just mess it up. So I'm not sure I will. And that's the end of that. I hope Dale loves the journal. I know she is a journal collector and has journals from many different makers. And so I thought she might enjoy having one from me.
thank you so much for watching to the end. I appreciate that immensely and have a really blessed day. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.